Robin Boyd, architect. Robin Boyd lived at the National University, high up on a ledge on the architecture school. Her nest overlooked a skyline of spectacular shapes. And each day, while、well, she studied domes and spires and minarets, she listened to the class through the window. When I grow up, I like to be an architect," thought Robin. As she listened, she learned there was much more to architecture than building. There are complex ideas like are round nests always best, and think outside the circle. And the biggest question of all: what comes first, the nest or the egg? It turned her thinking upside down. Robin was the first boy to go to university, and she wanted to do well. So she set to work practicing all the important shapes like circles, squares, triangles, rectangles, and domes. I can think outside the circle," thought Robin, as she turned her own nest upside down. "It's a dome," she discovered. She and she added another small dome on top. It was a, as good as any on the skyline. But where does my egg fit in?" she wondered. Next, she tried all she tried a tall, thin triangle, carefully placing each twig higher and higher until she had made a tower, a towering spire. But was it too pointing? Pointed an address for an egg. Robin called circles into cylinders, and cones stretched, and cones stretched squares into rectangles and cubes. A two triangle up into pyramids. Before long, she was making towers with turrets, and battlements, and with parapets. But was it all too grand for an egg? She practiced all the important architectures features like archways and entrances, keystones and columns. Buttresses and balconies. She built catapults with cultures, bridges with bolsters, pestles, patterns, and plants. She soon learned that a nest is not a nest if there are no if there is nowhere for an egg to rest. Robin flew over the university and far beyond. The more she built, the more she learned about shape and space, symmetry and scale. She practiced pavilions and perfect pavilions, 
But was this the best nest for an egg? She did, she did homework and field work and some pretty fancy slick work. She worked on her towers for hours and hours. She mixed textures and colors, tried stacking canvas and tilt. The found towers quite windy once built. Robin spelled all the way up on the inside and spelled all the way down on the outside. But was this the right shape for her nest? She soon realized that there were endless possibilities for shapes and design. So what was the best shape nest shape nest for an egg? And then out of the blue the idea came to her exactly the right shape for an egg is. Egg shape Egg shape. Suddenly, her work became truly egg exciting. She designed extraordinary apartments and expressional homes, and now she understood. Three very important things. One, a bird can live anywhere, but an egg needs a nest. Two, thinking outside the circle can lead to to exciting ideas. The three, the egg comes first. Very egg exciting, guys. By the end of her studies, Robin had become an expert builder and an exceptional designer. Famous for outdoor places and indoor spaces full of sunshine, breeze, shelter and shade. Architecture is like an egg, thought Robin, full of exciting possibilities, which gave her the idea for a book of carrier. Perhaps she'd call it Great Expressional by Robin Boyd Architect. The End of